station of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the November, what is it? November what? November 15th. Terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, D.B. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And, of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we get to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We get to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, and most importantly, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, let those fingers do the walking. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Happy to get to your request out there inside the subject heading. If you'd put radio show question, that would be great. And, of course, in the Tiger's Den, as Mr. Z did earlier, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow trained down 145 points. 24,934 is the print. S&P is down by 10 at 2692. NASDAQ is up uh, three points, trading at 6772. A mixed market. You've got the semis up one and a half percent. Spot volatility index up three percent, trading out at 2195. Gold's up four bucks. Silver up 12 pennies. Our first question I came in was asking if silver has bottom. So we'll look at that in a moment. Leading the charge, by the way, dollar-wise to the upside is ICU Med. That's up $15 and change. That's seven percent. NetEase is up about 11 bucks. That's nearly five percent. Broadcom up Nearly nine or nearly four uh, percent. Unicure is up thirty-six percent. That's eight bucks. Arena Pharmaceuticals up twenty-one. To the downside, it is uh, Amazon up twenty-nine bucks. You've got uh, AutoZone down twenty-one. Madrigal Pharmaceuticals down twelve. Chipotle off twelve. Dillard's off eleven bucks. So certainly there are things to take a look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. No question. Well, I take that back. There is a question. Let's get to that question first. The question was about silver. Hi-ho, silver. Has silver formed a bottom? So there's a couple things that you and I can do. The very first thing that we're going to do is pull over one of Stevie's white background charts. Uh, this has got my proprietary, my, 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 my proprietary, you try saying that set of tools out here that help us to identify tops and bottoms as well as many other things and one of those is the Rhodes momentum indicator pattern on a daily time frame that was a signal that silver generated yesterday yesterday was not only a bullish engulfing candle it was easy to do it was also a key reversal session we know that because silver has been in extended condition to the downside Yesterday's candle session both exceeded the high and low of the prior day, and um, so that qualifies, and we traded, or closed, I should say, one tick to the upside, the opposite of the direction. Now, when I posted my comment, I said, well, it looks like it's bottom, but it has not proven itself. I don't remember what I wrote exactly. What I did say was what it's doing is it's testing Stevie's red line. If yesterday's signal is a bullish signal, suggesting that a bottom has formed in silver, then what you will see is price close above the first level would be price close above 1425. That is Stevie's red line. We can see how in essence the high of the day was nothing more than a test of that level. We also have our daily profile out here, but we'll just switch over to our black background charts. 
our e-signal charts. And those of you that were looking may have noticed that the profile formed above price. So here we've had our daily. So we have our daily, our weekly, 240 minute and 60 minute time frame. So we can take a look at those profiles. And the one to really be focused on, I would say, would be the daily where we just came from. So the next level of resistance, if in fact silver has bottom, if it can clear and close above Stevie's red line, we gave you that number out there, 1425, uh, is going to be 1440. That's the bottom of the daily profile. What we don't know is whether that will be resistance, a close above that. Then what that does is that generates an additional signal that says, okay, it is bottom worthy. The final one would be a close above the top of the daily profile, 1477. Now, these profiles are important. So when you and I take a look at them, they're how you and I are able to get a competitive edge as to where price is likely going to head to and whether or not you can give something a bullish or bearish signal, for example. And I thought that was a pretty smooth transition. Well, you, we don't know yet until you see the transition. For example, if we take a look at the low today inside of the ES Mini, the bottom of its weekly profile is 2671 and three ticks out there. The actual low today is 2671 and one tick. So 2671 is a key level of support. That level was hit. Uh, that is where the buyers came in this morning. We know that because of the price action that we have seen thus far. That makes it a real key level. If you're bearish, what you want to see is price close below that level, not just today, but today would help, but certainly tomorrow because we're talking about it being a weekly profile. What do we know so far about the ES Mini? It has hit a significant level of support, a bullish structured weekly profile, and price bounced off of it. You clearly, now, this profile, you and I talked about, well, we weren't together yesterday, but we certainly talked about it or mentioned it on Tuesday and Monday and probably Friday, um, yeah, Friday of last week. And, uh, and then, with regard to these profiles, if you take a look at the chart just next to it, it's cousin next door, the NQ. 6706 was its support level. Price got down to 67, uh, uh, 68.43. Hey, we'll be right back. I see we're just about to run out of time. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today.
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Ruby in our Tiger's Den is uh, asking about natural gas. And uh, Ruby, what's on my screen right now is the uh, January contract. If we take a look at the January contract, what we'll see here, the daily, we're looking at the daily time frame. And you can see that uh, yesterday's move was a one to pi. What's your favorite pie? Is it because we're coming into Thanksgiving, so a lot of people would probably choose pumpkin pie, or I know Maria would choose pumpkin cheesecake, uh, uh, or uh, um, apple pie, or maybe even lemon meringue pie. Hey, the A to B equals CD pattern just vanished. I guess we have to draw that back in there. But what we can see here is uh, the A point looks like right down here in the trading day of September the 14th. What the heck's going on with my system? It was there. Oh, man, oh, man, what's the deal here? What did I, what, why is this not working? There we go. There's our A point. Here's our B. Wow, it's uh, something slowed up. It's just, there we go. So what you can see here, and take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern, certainly one that's very extended, makes, uh, so for, for those of you that are believers in pie out there, certainly an extended pattern. This gets up now. The price target there was 494. It got up just slightly above that. And today is, uh, we've seen a, a very large uh, sell-off, 15, 16% uh, from that level. And the question that um, that Ruby had was, uh, what was your question? Sorry about that. I know you wanted me to take a look at, just comment on it. And so if we take a look at what else was going on now, here I have to take a look at my apologies that the continuous contract, I don't have the January contract, I couldn't find it inside of my, uh, my Ninja Trader application. But if we start from that A point and we do our wave count to the upside, you get yesterday, uh, yesterday's high, and looks like that's what will be the high, was wave number uh, G. And you get to that seventh wave letter, that's where you can see the biggest uh, changes in trend. Not always, but certainly where you can see the biggest changes in trend. To answer your question, Ruby, with the pullback here is the move over. Well, we really won't know that until price, if price, closes below $3.89 right now. Now, that level's going to change. That happens to be Stevie's green line. So there's a rising price oscillator above zero. And as long as that is the case, yes, a violent pullback. Um, but at this stage here, uh, this is still saying uh, that it remains in bullish mode because there still is a rising price oscillator above zero. Yeah, above zero is what Stevie said out there. So, yeah, you've made a seventh wave move, says you're going to pull back and do one to pi, one to 3.14, uh, A to B equals CD out here. But price is above the weekly profile, price is above the daily profile, price is above Stevie's green line out there. So that's what I say on a short-term basis here. When I say short-term, referring to 60 and 240-minute profiles, I don't see any level of support or anything along those lines. So I hope that that helps you out. We've got another question out here this one coming in by email and let's go to it this is coming from jj really coming from james his last name starts with a j so i just call him jj but he might not like that but uh, i don't want to call him by his first and last name out there although you guys would have to tell me if it's okay to do that 
I, I would be happy to. I'm just kind of a, uh, I respect your privacy <laughs> is, is really. So I'm a, a little bit different than uh, Facebook, so to speak, out there. When you, when you send an email to me, you're talking Stevie book. And in Stevie book, uh, we just appreciate the fact that you sent an email. Otherwise, everything remains silent out here. But yeah, let's just get back to the question here, okay? Because uh, JJ was asking the question, about Amazon. So let's go take a look at AMZN, see how long it takes to populate here. And he says, hi, Steve. Uh, thanks for all you do. You bet. I bought Amazon at 1552. When I was going, it's at 1585 right now. Uh, where do you see it going short to midterm? Thanks. So if we take a look at Amazon out here, you know, what we're looking for are levels of support that this thing has pulled back into. The level of support right now would be its weekly profile. So you'd like to see this close the week above 1587.73. You're at 1587.54 right now. It's a brand new profile that formed this week. If that holds, then what the weekly chart would say to you, Jay, James, is uh, 1754.78 is next up. That may be all you're asking for. 1809.50 is the uh, level on its daily profile. Those would be the two areas, if I were you, that I would be looking at. The top of the weekly box, by the way, is 1977, but let it deal with 1754 and then 1809.50. Now, if uh, Amazon closes below the weekly profile. There still is one other level of support, and that is the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. That's at 1509.67. So that's what I see when I take a look at Amazon. The other thing that I see that you would like, because you are long Amazon, is you would like to see price close over the St Stevie's red line. That is 1617 and basically change out there. So getting back above that would get you back to being short-term bullish. Otherwise, everything is just a counter-trend move. I'm not saying to sell your position. I just want to make sure you can see that Stevie's red line is in fact red, and so you really want to see this close above that oscillator on change line. Otherwise, you continue to have a falling price oscillator below zero. Nonetheless, Facebook, uh, Facebook, Amazon generated a really nice bottoming signal back on October the 31st, yeah, on October 31st, when it had that gap to the upside. You mentioned in the email you bought uh, Amazon as it came back into the gap because you're a believer, as am I, the gaps are your friend. At this stage here, it appears to be your friend. So uh, best of luck with that. And at this stage of the game, nice try. Not, not, not nice try, nice trade. Now, we talked earlier, and we were showing levels of support, but I know there's somebody that's sitting out there that was saying, you know, okay, Steve-O, you told me about support, but where's resistance? Almost kind of like James did here when he was asking about uh, Amazon. Well, the key level, we're at 125. The key level of resistance, the key level of resistance in four minutes and 15 seconds to be watching for is going to be voila. I got to find voila. Where did I put voila? It is right here. It is 68.31. 68.31 inside of the NQ. If the NQ in less than four minutes closes above that level at 130 exactly, what we have is a confirmation of a bottom in the markets. That's Stevie's call. That should be your call, too. Now, we may see that in the next three and a half minutes or so that the NQ closes below 68.31. And if it does, then what we have is called no confirmation. We would have close, but no cigar. So the key level to be watching when we get back from this break is going to be 68.31. Yeah, it's 27.24 in the ES. It's 25, 253 in the YM. This 15.18.30 inside of the Russell 2000. But the one we really want to look at, the one that we really want on that wall is 6831. So we get back from this break. Let's go see where the NQ closed out its 30 minute session. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, yeah, you got to close above uh, 6831 inside the NQ. And what you should see take place throughout the day is a uh, giganto, gargantuan short covering rally. Uh, it'll extend into tomorrow for sure, uh, coming into uh, that close. And we'll have bears saying, now what do I do out there? Uh, so that's Stevie's take. 68.31 is a, a level of resistance that has been uh, tested and rejected uh, several different times uh, is, since uh, yesterday. And uh, now with the close above that, uh, what it does is it gives uh, Stevie here uh, clear signals. Now, we talked about what's interesting here is the patterns that you and I take a look at. We looked at silver for Mr. Z. We looked at, um, and there we took a look at Stevie's red line. Uh, we took a look at natural gas. We took a look at that seventh wave move. Oftentimes you see there's number seven on my screen or a letter G because uh, Stevie Wonder likes to sing in the key of G out there. Uh, so we take a look at those patterns. We take a look at TAS market profiles. And all those things work on multiple time frames. We take a look at uh, Stevie's Rhodes momentum indicator signal. If we take a look at the NQ out here, uh, 
The NQ this morning on that push to the downside got to wave number G, wave number seven. You can see it uh, on my uh, screen out here. And uh, was doing so in creating that road momentum indicator bottom signal on the five hour time frame. Price is over Stevie's red line. Now, the next key level here on the five hour time frame that you want to watch on the NQ is going to be 69.25. That is resistance. I don't know if price is going to close above that. I do believe if price closes above that, that will be another check mark to then all of a sudden you will start to see those that are short or you should see those that are short to then second guess that position. If all price does is get up to 69.25 and doesn't take it out, then I can absolutely understand a uh, short position saying I'm still going to hold there. But if it closes over that, you just have two, now really three, because we took a look at that 6831 level, you'll have uh, three patterns that say there's no reason that the NQ on a five-hour basis won't target its uh, previous high. Its previous high, by the way, this is what we're, take, where we're looking at here, came in at about 11 o'clock at night. This is back on the trading day of November the uh, 7th. In November 7th, in the 7231 level. So you're at 6861. That's a, that'd be a heck of a move. Uh, I'm not saying that's going to do that, you know, right now. But that would be your price target. We could take a look at retracements and so forth, but we don't need to do that. All we need to do is know where the next levels are. We need to know where the key levels are. And really, I would say at 2 p.m., as long as price trades uh, close above 68.14, uh, it's giving you the bottom signal. We know about that 68.31 level. So that's the number I would, uh, would be watching. And then throughout the day, evening, whenever it might be, watch 69.25. That would be the top of its five-hour uh, market uh, profile out there. So that's just using um, the different tools, uh, only on a different time frame uh, for uh, for us. And you know, it's it's just it's I don't know. To me, I think it's 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 easy and it's cool and it's helpful to be able to use all of these uh, tools out there. By the way, JJ says that we can call him anything except late for dinner out there. So uh, he's just glad to be able to send uh, send his request for questions and. Hey, I dig the fact that you send in a request for questions. Uh, you, you send in a question. You know, what's interesting here is the New York Stock Exchange. If you take a look at the New York Stock Exchange and you look at the uh, panel uh, number two, the panel number two, it says uh, you'll see the uh, green uh, text there. It says advanced decline oscillator. Now, that's a difference between an oscillator is nothing more than a, a difference between two things. In our case here, the two things happen to be exponential moving averages. In our case, they happen to be the 19 and the 39 period exponential moving averages. Now, when we take a look at it, kind of the cool thing was that on the trading session here of November the 7th, uh, that price oscillator reading got up to what's the highest that we've seen in since 2016. Yeah. It, what, well, what does that mean, Steve? Well, when you get above 150, which this thing got up to, what was it? Uh, 211.20 was the uh, close out there. When you get above 150, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a momentum indicator. It doesn't talk about tomorrow. It talks about into the future, not like years into the future, typically like weeks, months into the future. And it says, hey, you're going to see higher price inside the New York Stock Exchange. That would mean that it would be taken out as highs from November 7th out here. So this could be inside the New York Stock Exchange and A to B equals CD to the upside. What's also interesting about the New York Stock Exchange was that it also is an oversold. So it's a momentum indicator. Uh, there's a number of different ways to use it. But also, price had been oversold, just like it gets to the, or overbought, I should say, just like it gets down to the oversold level and it gets down to minus 150. That's an area to be watching for. Now, what happened over the course of, since uh, November 7th is price pulled back, the advanced decline information pulled back, but basically stopped at zero. So, by the way, when it is above zero, uh, the reading for it from a daily standpoint, because this is a daily time frame chart we're looking at, it's bullish. So it's kind of interesting. So watch that today. I don't know where the markets are going to, you know, end up uh, at the end of the day. We know what to look for. We know what gives us uh, probability in odds to be able to make decisions. But uh, as far as where price is going to end at a specific time, we use tools to give us price projections, but we don't necessarily 
certainly marry those, uh, so to uh, speak, out here. But what we can say about the New York Stock Exchange, a lot of times I hear people kind of trash it or what have you, really provides us with great signals. And those great signals can come from the advanced decline oscillator reading. Now, these markets are not going to turn out to be full out blown bullish, not until the uh, spot volatility next closes below its 50 day exponential moving average. I'm not saying it's going to do that today. I'm just going to be able to share with you what it is you'd be looking at. Right now, the reading on that, this is the bottom panel of our screen out here is 1801. You're 2069 as we speak right now. It's been just a small pullback in price inside the spot volatility index. In fact, the spot volatility index is trading at 2069. The futures contract for next July is 1910. So there still is this uh, huge cont uh, not contango backwardation that's going on inside the spot volatility. So it means that traders are still nervous. Still, I, you know, but we're not going to use the terms nervous, even though I did, or no fear, you know, because it's all garbage. You just, it just it really is all. It's just meaningless to to kind of say stuff like that. So if I say stuff like that, just just wrap me upside the head out there. It, just, instead, what you'll want to look at, and I, I, I'll be gone. I won't be able to post anything in the den or anything like that this afternoon. So if there is a large pullback, I don't know if there will be, but if there's a large pullback today, I think the sphincter muscle of the bears are going to tighten up as we uh, probably waiting for Polar to come on because you know he's a, he's a polar bear. So they're just waiting on a read from the polar bear to figure that out. But if you were to see a spot volatility index, one day rate of change of minus 10% or less than minus 10% or below minus 10% out there, that's also an initiation move signal. We're not there yet. It's just a 2% rate of change as we speak right now. But that would be something to watch for. So. As we go into this uh, break here, I'll check, see if anybody sent in an email. Dow's up about uh, one and a quarter, S&P 19, NASDAQ 100 up one and three tenths percent. How about that semiconductor index? Up three percent. Big move there, 36 points. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, the request line is open, 877-927-664. Same thing with the email, steve at tfnn.com. Just uh, please put radio show question in the uh, subject heading of your email. Um, so no requests that we have. At this stage here, what we're looking at is the uh, Dow Equity Futures contract. Now, it's a continuous contract that is up on my screen so that you and I can take a look at just simply loads and loads worth of data. What you see out here are green horizontal lines. The green horizontal lines uh, reflect uh, weekly uh, trading range boundary lines. So otherwise referred to as horizontal trading ranges out here. If we take a look at, uh, and by the way, the diagonal lines are the rising price channel lines. And the way that these horizontal trading range are trading range lines are captured is we take a lot of historical data. In this case here, I guess I go back to 2002, and uh, what the system automatically does once I once I go ahead and put the time frame out here is it identifies the largest number of opens and closes on a, on a weekly basis. And what we can see here, and I've got the numbers here, you can see that since that time period, there have been four, 71 closes, roughly, right about, within a smidgen, of 10,609. The next highest, or next largest highest, what's the correct, uh, the next highest quantity, next largest quantity, uh, there, there's, I, I'm sure one of those is a butcher of uh, grammar, out there, but 12,376 is the next horizontal trading range number where there's 46 closes. All you have to do is take that difference, which is what the system does here, and adds that difference to the upside and to the downside to come up with your next horizontal trading range levels. Now, for some reason, these act as support and resistance out here. And if we take a look at what the Dow Equity Futures has done this month, it uh, pulled back to approximately 24,745. Uh, that is the bottom of the uh, horizontal trading range. We've seen 13 opens and or closes uh, in that level. So it's trading with inside the consolidation range, 24,745 and 26,512 out here. Um, so it couldn't bust them to the downside. Maybe it's going to try to bust them to the upside. It's also of interest here. Who would have thought that uh, this is where price would have stopped? But if you take the high in the Dow Equity Futures contract from the week that began January 29th, 2018, and you connect it to the uh, next touch point of June 11th, uh, it's interesting that uh, the October, the week of October 29th, that the move lower found support right there, right on it. It is uh, quite wild. Then price went in and closed right back there at the 24,745 level out here. So that's support and resistance. Uh, we have these lines out here, horizontal trading range lines. Uh, we have them for the NQ as an example. Here is the NQ. You can see that it had moved down and tested the 6780 level. That was earlier this morning. But what we know is because we have that daily profile that we looked at during the first segment, we know that's where a level of support was. Uh, you can see that uh, price has found resistance as well at the diagonal, the rising price channel line. Uh, that price, by the way, this week would be at about 7000 7046 give or take. I've got to find a way for eSignal to pick up the way these, that we draw these lines and, and uh, be able to generate exactly what that price level is on that line. Not that we need to be that, you know, 
that specific and that accurate. But it, it does it does help uh, out here. If price were to get back above that rising price channel level, then that would bring in the 7664 area. Likewise, if price breaks through 6780, your downside target becomes that 5897 area. Uh, in the ES, in the case of the ES Mini, uh, you can see it's trading within its range. It's a narrow range. Now the red uh, levels out here, these are monthly areas of support and resistance. And you're looking at 2650 as support, 2791 as resistance out there. We've got a request out here from our man, Peak D. Peak wants to take a look at ticker symbol TRP. He wants to take a, a trip. And the question is, would you buy? Would you hold? Would you sell? So let's go take a look at TRP, TripAdvisor. No, that's not TripAdvisor. What is TripAdvisor? I thought TRP used to be TripAdvisor. Maybe it's TRIP. I'm guessing now. Instead, this is TransCanada. Hey, I, what does TransCanada do? Is that the, is that the railroad? What is what is TransCanada out there? Peak, I mean, I could look it up, but it's just easier for me to ask you because you know, and you just simply type it on in here. Well, let's go answer Peak's question. Uh, if you were in it, uh, I wouldn't sell just yet. I would say your trade's a pipeline. Thank you. You're trading inside a range uh, from a daily standpoint. And gas pipeline, even better. Thank you. Uh, so as we take a look at uh, TRP out here, TransCanada, you can see that right now it's just, uh, and I can't get it. Oh, there we go. It's on my other screen. I want to make sure I got it. So here's the deal. So when equities commodities, make significant bottoms or tops out there. One of the things, Peak, that you and I like to see, well, because you're Peak, because you are the Peak, Peak D out here, we've got to see what kind of trough this thing got to. It didn't get to wave number, it didn't get to wave number G, uh, G got beyond that, but we can take a look at what that count was. I would come all the way here to the next high after Peak D out there. Peak, that's how I would do it. How would you do it? But that's how I would do it. And again, this is not Basil system. This is Stevie's uh, system of using those wave counts out there and trying to find a seventh wave move out here. But it got to peak D or trough G, D. Uh, I'll get it straight out here. It, it did that. Uh, uh, hey, peak, you, you need to have trough D too. Why, not? Why don't you have trough D? You got two out there. You got, and you're asking a trough question. We should have trough D. And, a, uh, and when you've got uh, a topping question, it's got to be peak D out there. I just think, yeah, I think you should consider it. But let's get back to the question out here, which was it did make a roads momentum indicator bottom, and you got that signal out here on November 2nd when you had that bullish reversal signal, that uh, bull separating line out here. And now price over the last couple of days has come back to test support, which was both the bottom of its uh, profile daily as well as Stevie's red line. So the next key level uh, for this to form an A to B equals CD to the upside is going to be how it contends with not just 39.77, but certainly the price point of the possible B point of the A to B equals CD, the November 7th high. And that is $40 even Steven. The volume there was 1.3 million shares. Today you're coming in kind of light. You'd like to see that passed uh, with more than 1.3 million shares. Whether you do or you don't, um, if you do, it just uh, gives you a better um, a better indication of a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside that then gives you a price projection, the 4111, 4186 area. We can't confirm that. Volume or not, until price closes over 40 bucks, even Steven out there. But you're asking the question, would you sell? No, I wouldn't sell. You don't really have a sell pattern, so to speak. Would you Would you buy? Or would, what was the question? Buy, sell, and hold, I think. At this stage here, because you're... So the buy point, we've already established, right? The chart established that for us. The buy points on this equity are down at the bottom of that profile. 38.39 or Stevie's red line, 38.58. And now you've just got to wait to see, does price take out the B point, or does it pull back into those levels of support? And I don't know which it's going to do. You've got to just wait and see. I would hold it. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. That was for Trough D and the Tigers. Right. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. 
While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, let's do the uh, kind of the two minute wrap up here. Um, key level to be watching. We talked about this earlier uh, inside the NQ. I really do believe it's all about the NQ today. It's not, but it, 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 it's just Stevie's just trying to just just trying to make it easy for you. Watch 69 and a quarter. Right now you're at 68, 78. A close above 69 and a quarter, which is the top of its five-hour profile. We haven't seen that since the most recent decline. That would be a change in trend indicator, let alone that you got to wave number seven, singing in the key of G at the low this morning, let alone you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom uh, signal out there and a big old bullish engulfing candle, big old key reversal session. So you got the whole nine yards, but the actually got eight yards. The ninth yard would be a close over 69.25. Now, why is that important? Why is it all about the NQ, Stevie? That's an excellent question. And so we'll finish it off by saying, by saying this to you, by sharing this with you. If you knew at the beginning of the year, forget about the tops, which also show Rhodes Momentum Indicator tops, but if you knew at the beginning of the year that the NQ was going to form bottoms of significance, where you had either real significance or at least one heck of a nice rally out here, and you were to say what pattern generates that best signal, we would say, well, just look at those black arrows on Stevie's screen. Those are the Rhodes Momentum Indicator signals, of which we just took a look at another one that formed out here. So you look, and you take a look at those signals, and ask yourself the question, 
If price gets above that level of resistance, are we likely to see another significant rally to the upside? The answer is up to you. Thanks so much for being here, folks. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next after that. Tom O'Brien, 3 to 5. Stevie will be back with you tomorrow on fabulous, fantastic, fun day Friday. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.